Hey, YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Hey, did you know, check this out. Did you know that you are missing out on thousands of recruits when you go recruiting in Dynasty mode? Let me show you. This is my East Carolina Dynasty that I'm working on. And when you come in to your recruiting board, some people know this, some people don't. When you come to your prospect list, the first thing that you see every single time by default is what the simulator, the game, whatever you want to call it, is recommending for you. These are the recruits they are recommending for you. So you can see we have a bunch of five-star and four-star guys. If you come here and you sort them by stars, you see we have two five-star players at the top, a bunch of four-star players, and then your three-star players. So not that many four-star players, but, you know, several but this is not all there is available to you and a lot of people don't realize by hitting that r2 button and again i'm on plate ps5 i don't know what the button is for uh xbox but the r2 button in the upper right hand corner of this uh, square here you can see you have all kinds of options to choose different recruits the best way to find the ones that they are not recommending for you now I remember i had two five-star recruits they were recommending you can separate them by stars. So here are all the five-star recruits in the entire country. Now look at this. Now I'm five weeks into the season, so a lot of these guys are already signed, recruited, uh, in talks, whatever, in negotiations. But you can see there's a lot more than they recommended to me. Now you want to talk about four stars. You saw how many that were recommended to me, maybe about a screen full. Look at all these four-star recruits. This is already three times more than is on my recommended page. So when you come into recruiting, if you just look at your recommended page and nothing else, you are missing out on literally thousands of recruits. Whether you're looking for five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, whatever you're doing, wherever your build is, you're missing out on these guys. And they are gettable. They're absolutely gettable. So don't think that they're not, but still look at, we're still going down all the four-star players in the country. This is a hundred times more than what was recommended. I mean, that's insane. That really is insane. So, And you can separate them by stars. You can set up, separate them by states, pipelines. You can do all different kinds of stuff. But we go back to the recommended list. This is what they're recommending for me. And that's all your four stars recruits. So make sure that you go up to this area. Check out your five stars and check out your four stars. At the beginning of the season, don't wait too long because these five stars get snapped up really quick. And it doesn't matter if you're on a bad team. Take a chance. You know, take a chance. You might snag one. You never know. But there's a lot more than they are recommending for you. So just keep that in mind because if you don't look, if you don't sort them by five stars, four stars, three stars, if you stay on your recommended page, you are absolutely missing out on thousands and thousands of possible recruits that can help build your team. So I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.